Alrighty, what's up everybody, it's me, your boy JC, we're back at it again with another review of Avatar figures, and today, it's one of the new ones, which I'm super excited, which is the new McFarlane Avatar, the way of the water figure, super excited, let's begin. So starting off with this review, as we can see, packaging wise on this figure, different this time unlike the first wave which is just from the first movie but this time this is for the new movie that's coming out by the time i'm recording this next week and uh yeah right here we have the nice tropical beaches of pandora character's name tonomari nice beautiful display of the figure which honestly in the packaging it looks amazing the detailing and everything Right here we have more of what Pandora looks like. Very nice looking. And right here in the back we have a uh, Tonomari on top of the skin wing, which I am also gonna get eventually. Right now it's currently on Amazon if anyone's interested. And also Tonomari has that black light effect, which I absolutely like. And right here we have this Pandora again with some different creatures here. I don't know what these are, cranes or something. Look like little mini benches, whatever they are, who cares? <laughs> what do you guys care? And right here, you have the barcode, so if anyone's interested in finding it, there you go. And yeah, so that's it for the packaging on this figure, so let's finally unbox it. Alrighty, so now, I don't know why it's now finally unboxed. He's a very tall figure. I won't deny, I got my Jake's Sully figure and he's way taller than him, actually. <laughs> like, look at that, he's way bigger, way more chunky. And yeah, this guy feels more, I guess so, like more <laughs> chunky, more thicker. But yeah, he feels more thicker than the Jake Sully figure, which I'm starting to think that maybe I should get also the Jake Sully figure, the new one, in the new way, because he also looks pretty cool. I don't know, I'm, I already have this original first movie, Jake Sully. And I don't know if I need another one, but who knows? I might change my mind. I don't have an interior figure though. Anyways, so let's start off with its accessories. So moving Mr. Tonawari aside, we have his very large spear right here, which looks awesome. Oops. Awesome. I mean... By the detailing on this thing, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. It's nice. It's this soft plastic, but I wouldn't bend it too much. It's not that rubbery, but still. Very soft. You could move it a little. I wouldn't recommend doing it too much, though. But yeah, very nice brushing and paint job. Love it. It's very nice. It looks exactly... Well, I don't know what it's used for, but I guess so it's to kill fish <laughs> i don't know you know spear it's a weapon and then it's other weapons he comes with it's this cool flint knife of that's a knife obsidian who knows what it is but it's a cool knife it's a nice big knife very detailed very nicely paint job nice paint job but i can't i can't speak but yeah very nice absolutely love this and then obviously with all the Avatar figures and McFarlane, they come with this stand, which I absolutely love. Nice little stand. I like that they include the stand at least. Now, Mr. Tanawari. He's very special. For obvious reasons. One, he's a new character from the new movie, Avatar The Way of the Water. And the only knowledge I have of him is that he's a clan leader of the Tanawari. Quick voiceover, it's Mekaina. Clan, I think? Metakaya. I think so, I don't remember. I don't remember. Tanawari clan. Again, it's Mekaina, my bad. So on those clan members, he's the chief and all. And right here, if we take a closer look at him, his tattoos represent uh, the clan or how important he is, I guess. I, I, for, I always forget the names, but... Yeah, whatever. Sectus means something very cool, and he's a cool guy. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 
Let's move on with uh, detailing on this figure. Oh, uh, detailing on this figure, as you can see, highly detailed. If I want this accessory that he has on his chest, very nicely detailed, very nicely well done. Right here is necklace of shark teeth looking things, very nicely detailed. His braids are also very nicely de detailed. Very hairy man. That's a fair. And also this clothing that he has, piece of clothing. Sadly, you can't remove it. It's on something, but I don't know. Maybe you can, but I don't want to. But either the way, his clothing looks very nice. Exactly like in the trailers that was so far we've seen. And also his tattoos that he has on his face. Super nice, absolutely well done. And right here on the side. And also an interesting thing about these guys is that they're different from the Omita Kai clan, which is what Jigsaw is. <laughs> and yeah, and this is the Tonawari Mekaina clan. I think I, I don't I don't know, just the water clan. Okay, the water people. They're definitely differently made, as you can see. Like, taking a look at their hands, they got these flipper thingies on the side of their arms, which helps them maybe swim faster in the water since they are mainly near the sea and everything, which is awesome. It's a very nice little touch of detail in the movie. And also, right here, we got some more flippers on its ankles. And also its tail, which is very different from what the Omatakaya people have. Which if I get Jake Sully here, as you can see, very different by tails and by color. Color as well. He's more blue. He's more of this washed down blue, I guess. Yeah, lots of nice differences between these two, which is very awesome. Oh, and I also forgot to mention is uh, this cloth right here, super detailed. I mean, very nicely detailed, I gotta say. I don't know, who knows? But yeah, it's so nicely detailed all the way around. And just look at this. Super nicely detailed, has some nice ropes on his tail. And yeah, it's... Really nicely done. I absolutely love this figure. It's a very nice. Oh my god. Very nice figure. Absolutely love the detailing on its god. Figure. And quickly, I don't know, glancing through the paint job. As you can see, this is nice washed out blue that I just showed you guys comparing to Jake Sully. Not as blue as the Navi people or Omentakaya, probably. I don't know, the forest people, I guess I would call them, but yeah, but still his colorings are very nice, I absolutely love it, and it really resembles his character in the movie, which hopefully is very interesting, and yeah, really nicely, really well done, I want to know, just, I love the paint job and everything, and yeah, now articulation wise on this figure, as you can see, I won't go through it too much because since it's basically again another it's a navi or whatever an avatar figure has the same articulation as i did previously on my jake sully figure which if you want to check that out click right there would appreciate it but yeah he has a nice range of motion his arms were really stiff so i had to loosen them up off camera but still very nice range of motion as you can see here, you know his arms and to move. Like a very wide range of motion, which very nice. I absolutely love it. And also his head. Yes. Yes. Side to side, but can really because of his massive hair that he has. Or braids, whatever you want to call it. And also here, you can look down. And right here, you could do the splits with the ease. 
on that exactly. And he could bend his knees. Nice fool. Please. And he could move his feet. And obviously, his toes. <laughs> And right here, his tail also can move side to side. I wouldn't recommend making it go up too much because uh, my Jake Sully figure is starting to wear out. This tail's coming out, <laughs> basically. I play with him too much, but yeah. His tail can move side to side, which is very nice. You know, nice if you want to make a stop motion. You could do a propel. And yeah, that's basically a, an articulation. Don't want to go through all of it, but... Yeah, that's basically it on this articulation. Some comparisons. Fair warning, in case if anyone wants to put on his spear for Tanawari. He is very difficult to put on his spear. And it is recommended for you to put the spear on his right hand. Actually, I'm wrong. Left hand. My bad. Left hand. I think. I don't know. Whatever it is. Who cares? Anyways. It's hard to put a spear for someone. Alright, let's use a quick comparison with all of my Navi people that I have, which is only Jake Sully to, for me to compare them with. Now, as you can see, we can see Jake Sully is slightly shorter than Mr. Our Boy Tanawari, which he is way more, slightly more taller than our boy Jake Sully. Very awesome, very cool, nice comparison. So let's quickly compare him to a Banshee. And right here, we got one of my favorite figures of all time, the Banshee. And sadly, you can't see him all of them. But basically, Banshee's bigger, wider and everything, but Mr. Tunnelwari makes it look slightly smaller than tonight. But yeah. If you wanna check out more of this Banshee, click on the corner right here, the review on this guy. Absolutely amazing figure. I want to know. Sure. Hey, one important aspect I forgot before this video ends is the black light feature. Which I have turned off the lights and I can't see where I'm heading. But basically, black light feature. And as you can see, our homeboy, Tonawari. Not sure if you could see the best. Yes, yeah, a very cool black like light feature. As for the previous figures. Also a spear. Some black light feature to it. Which looks very awesome. And also his body. That's a nice cool black light feature. Lucius. I don't know how for you guys to make it see it best, but nothing else here, I think. Yeah, just mostly here in his body. Still, regardless, very awesome feature. Holy. So, overall, I absolutely love this figure. Very nice addition to the Avatar line of McFarlane. And again, another well done figure by McFarlane Toys, which absolutely love this line i really like it really well done job there goes jake sully regardless very well done figures i absolutely love everything that so far they have done even though it hasn't been much but still all of them are really well made very good quality and everything and just overall great figures in my opinion but that's gonna do it for this review guys hopefully you all enjoyed it consider hitting that subscribe button as we are trying to reach 1000 subscribers and and i'm obviously super excited to watch avatar the way of the water which shall be coming out very soon around this time of this upload who knows but yeah very soon anyways thank you all for watching and i shall see you all in the next one adios and goodbye everyone i shall see you all in the next one have a wonderful day.